Hey guys, this is video for Charlie with another tutorial, this time going over organizing your project and the project panel. It's going to be a pretty short one, but we're going to go over the project panel primarily because it is probably the most used panel in all of Premiere. So getting a good understanding of it and its functions will help you make your editing experience even better. So let's go ahead and go over to the project panel, which is down here on the lower left. Hit the tilde key to maximize like we had done before. And notice that at the top of the panel, there are a bunch of different columns, each with their own information on them. Uh, these columns provide you with specific information regarding your media. Some of these columns are more useful than others, and you can also customize what panels show and which ones don't. So in order to do that, navigate up to the project panel, click on the little three bars right here to open the menu, and then you can go down to metadata display. This will open up the metadata display window right here. And now you can customize which columns you will see. You can see there's a lot of them. These are also all collapsible, so there's actually way more than you expect. So luckily Premiere has provided you with a little search box so you can actually find the ones that you are looking for. So let's go ahead and remove the tape name column since we're not using tape and instead we're using media type. So let's go ahead and replace that. I'm going to go ahead and type in tape name. There it is, check marked. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck mark that. And then I'm going to type in media type. There it is. I'm going to check mark that one. And I'm going to select OK. And you'll see that tape name is no longer up there. However, media type has been added. So you can go ahead and do this to your own project to customize it to your needs so that the project panel shows you exactly what information you might want to know. Now, an interesting setting available in Adobe Premiere is the rating setting. So I go back to metadata display. There's actually a rating checkbox, which is kind of cool. I actually do like to use this, so I'm going to go ahead and checkmark that. Hit OK. And you'll see that it lets you actually put a star rating next to each clip. So if I like something, I can set it at five stars. If I don't like something, I can set it at two stars. When just looking through a big list of footage right away, I can use this actually to my advantage because I can know that the ones with five star are obviously the ones that I really like and just skip over the ones that I don't like. So when sorting through footage, it's really handy. You can also organize what's in your project panel by clicking on the actual column itself, just like many other interfaces. So if I want to organize by name, I click on name, the little carrot goes right here, organize by media type. You can see that now it is organizing it by media type. I can do it even by the star rating. So now it's going to do it by the star rating. And I could either do it by ascending or descending, either way. So it's really handy to actually have these set to how you like them. So that way you can organize your footage depending on what parameters you would like to actually set. Now another good option to have is actually the preview area. So if you go up to the menu again, little three bars, you can go down here and click on preview area. Now when I select a clip, you'll see that a little preview area has actually popped up here now in the project panel. If I bring it back down to regular size, you will see it there. It has all the information regarding the clip. If I select another clip, there it is. You could even play that clip right here. It is kind of small. You can also choose a poster frame. So this is just kind of a handy tool to have open. The preview, the preview area just really gives you more information, and I feel like the more information you have, the better when working with an edit, especially when trying to organize footage. Sometimes the footage isn't named, as you see here. This just allows you to have more access to what that footage is, what it may look like, so that you're not having to click around too much. As we mentioned before, you can switch between list and icon view, just like you did with the media browser. So you can see all your footage thumbnails and even scrub through them in here. Now it is important to note that if I double click like I did in the media browser on one of these bins, 
it's going to open that bin in a new window. So this is going to be an undocked window, which can get a little bit annoying because if you keep on, if you have a lot of these and you're clicking on a lot of them, there's just a ton of windows that open up and eventually you're just going to get swarmed. So I like to avoid that. And in order to do that, you can actually just open this up by holding down command and double clicking. Now you see instead, what it did is it just opened it up here. If I want to keep going down, I just hold down command and double click again. There it is. Here's my footage of boats. And I can scrub through it just like I did with Media Browser. I can double click it and it shows up in my source panel. All the controls are available there. And you can also see that as I go through it, it also shows it here in the preview area. Now, what if I want to go back to the original project panel? Well, in order to do that, I just simply click right here and it'll bring me the next notch up in the folder chain. Now, this really only applies to icon view. You can do it in list view, but it's a little bit unnecessary because you can just basically uncollapse what's here. But let's say you did have a lot of sub bins and you didn't want to see the GFX, MX, and everything else that's here, I can go ahead and do the same thing. Just hold down Command, double-click Footage, and within List View, it'll pop up with only what's in Footage. And I can always go back up by clicking this button right here. So that pretty much concludes our lesson on the importance of organizing your project and how to navigate the project panel. In our next lesson, we're going to be going over the source and program monitor a little bit. Until then, this is Video Fort Charlie signing off. I will see you next time.